Good morning, bright and early Wednesday morning. Heading out to Tel Aviv to meet, as I told you yesterday, some pretty smart people. This afternoon, I-24 News. Pretty chill day, but an exciting one. Hence, the professional attire. Here we go. Made it to Tel Aviv bright and early and got parking. Win. So, now that I twisted your arm and made you be on camera, who are you? So, I'm Talia. I do marketing and biz dev at Powtoon. Powtoon. How to? How did that name? That's an interesting question. I'm uh, an interesting guy. It's an interesting question. I I have my own version to it, oh, really? but like maybe the founder. First of all, for me, Powtoon is a platform which allows you to create animated videos or add animation uh, overlays to your videos. So to me, when I talk about animation, it, it connects a lot to cartoon. So it's kind of like putting the pow into the cartoon. Well, I like that. But I don't know if that's the original explanation. It's actually impressive. Really I impressive. know, right? I came up with it myself. So we, we were just uh, in the lobby upstairs at we were uh, top of we. Work and talking to my friend Stephanie, and you know, I said, This is Talia from Powtoon, and she's like, Oh, what's Powtoon? And she's like, Oh, we make animated videos. And I'm thinking to myself, That doesn't work. That's not as, that doesn't justify, or that doesn't, I, I would say, glorify enough yeah. what you really do. Because, yes, that's what you do. I but tell me about this company. Okay, so we're definitely now in the field of rich video content. Okay. So everyone is trying to, you know, grab attention and, and communicate in a more effective way. And, right. and everyone knows the video is much more effective. So Powtoon basically allows you to create a video with the simplicity of, straight, like actually. you would, the same, the same simplicity you would uh, have when creating a PowerPoint. Right. Whether you know it's an animated video from scratch, uh, like explainer videos startups usually feature on their website, or just, you know, a BuzzFeed type of video where you have a live video and then you have like words and animations right. and awesomes coming in. Okay. So that's what we do. We we basically allow anyone to create videos easily. Okay. Sababa, that's fine. Sababa means cool in Hebrew, by the way. So that, that's fine. Great. But Isn't Sababa in Arabic? I feel be. like it's an Arabic. Could very well be. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it actually doesn't sound like a Hebrew word, so you're probably right. But that, that's, again, that's like, I would say, 10% of your story. Because this company, for, first give me a number. How many people are using this thing? How many so we have, have close to 17 million um, community members. 17 me million. Community yeah. members. Yeah. We, they're our tribe, actually, because they really okay. are our tribe. Oh, wait, um, wait. When you say 17 million, that sounds like a massive number. It is a massive number. It is a massive number. Who are your customers? So our customers vary, but 85% of Fortune 500 <clears throat> companies use Powtoon for internal communications. So that's insane. Right now, internally, a lot of companies are using animated videos or animation. 85% of Fortune yeah. 500 companies. Yeah, yeah, and it can be anything from training and tutorials, or just like a marketing recap, or quarterly report uh, reports, or investor pitches. That's incredible. So Powtoon.com, first of all. Well, go check it out. Yeah. You have a consumer play, but there's a business play here. Talking about the business play, what kind of companies can use Powtoon? Not, not. I don't mean for internal training. Like if I'm a company, in terms of your technology that you built here, what can, how, how do we integrate? How do we work together? What can you do for me as a company? So first of all, I think that there's, you know, like I mentioned before, we're all about, you know, uh, video works, video works. And if you're a company which deals with content or communications or anything in that field, and you want to give your users an opportunity to fastly and easily create their own engagement engaging video content, we should definitely talk about just that and animated, integrate. Right? No, definitely not oh. just animated. You can integrate live videos as well into Powtoon and add like text layovers and image layovers. So it's it, all is, about it, is a, it is a pretty rough space. There are quite a few players. And even in Israel, there's just, I know it's not the same per se, but the video creation space is, is pretty crowded. You guys seem to be dominating now. Yeah, I think it is a rough space because there's a real need for it. Right. And I think we do really well in simplifying that. That's a mission for us to make it simple for everyone and also make it really um, accessible to everyone. So Powtoon is free, right? You can use a free account. And if you want to, you know, remove watermarks or, or different, you have different businesses, then you need to upgrade. But we're making it all about simple, accessible for you to make rich video content because at the end, you need to engage and you need to communicate effectively and video currently is the most effective awesome. way to communicate. I mean, look what I have to walk around with to create video. Right? <laughs> no, massive right. camera. But this is the this is the exact you know this is kind of where it came up with we we first started mainly with animated videos and one of the benefits is there is 
People don't always feel comfortable standing in front of camera, and you don't need to, right? If you, you can have a character standing in front of a camera with you uh, instead of you, that would be awesome. And we actually spoke to YouTube not long ago. This is me, like, I'm taking over your podcast. That's it. This is all that we. <laughs> this is the new diet podcast. Speaking to YouTube the other day, and you know, we were mentioning. Can I can I interrupt you? Why do people call it a podcast? It's a vlog. This is a vlog. You're right. Uh, you're not. I, if you were the only one, I wouldn't have mentioned it. But like, so many people have said, "Oh, I watch your podcast." I'm like, I don't it's know. Not a podcast. It's like, old-fashioned. It's one of those words that um, they are gone. YouTube. We were talking to YouTube and, and you know, we were talking about all those YouTube ads you see when someone's like, oh, you know, uh, I know you have something better than to see my ad right now, um, but let me just humor you for one second. So when a person is talking to the camera in the ad and they're like, people don't do that well because there are really few actors and companies that know how to have people approaching the camera properly. So we're speaking about how animated characters or like bubble heads can replace that if you're not comfortable. You can do that with the iPhone 10 because it has the an emoji thing. You know, you know that you know the new iPhone 10. You know what it has? No. It has depth recognition cameras where you can talk and it, it, it has an, like an, an animated character that moves its mouth and its gestures based on your actual face. Yeah. Super For cool. For sure. Yeah. It is cool. You know, it's funny because in addition to this, I, you know, I have my own podcasting platform, Zcast, and my co-founder Raz always jokes that he has a radio face. Yeah. Like he's not, uh, <laughs> yeah. Point is, you guys are growing. But astronomically. look, this is a great example uh, with the iPhone 10 right. because people are realizing you're seeing animation more and more in your life. You're seeing it with Rick and Morty. You're seeing it for the last few years with Family Guy. And animation just has a way to like. I love Family Guy, I but I can't funniest, say that. <laughs> I, do, I, I, I gotta tell you the funny, the funniest episode. Of it's Family offensive. Guy. It's offensive, but it's I love not it. politically correct. So the funniest <laughs> episode. I have to say this right now. The funniest episode ever in Family Guy. So. You have a guy Bird drive. is the word? What? Bird is the word? Is that the fun no. funniest? Okay, go. Listen to this. Listen to this. this is, I don't know if you saw this one, but this is... You have a guy driving in his car eating chocolate. And you have a guy driving the other direction eating peanut butter. And then they get into a head-on collision. You see the chocolate <laughs> flying and landing in the peanut butter. And that's right? how Reese's was invented. Hold on. You gotta, why you gotta run the punchline like Sorry. that? Come on. The cop, <laughs> the cop comes over to them, the sirens and everything, and he comes over there and he sees a piece of chocolate in the peanut butter. He takes a bite. He goes, hmm. Takes out his gun and shoots them both, and it says Officer Reese's. <laughs> love, love. Awesome. Because I always think about like, who was the genius? Who was the genius that invented yeah. chocolate and peanut butter or honey and mustard? Who was that guy? But this that is a great example of how animation has a way to like take complex, True. you know, concepts and kind of like make them easier for your mind to like adjust to and take in. You guys should have Seth, Seth MacFarlane as your like spokesman, the guy who has the voices of all the. Okay, like okay. Hello, Seth. <laughs> Hi, can you come? Okay, great. Listen, I, like, we talked about this. You can get to anyone on the internet today. I'm sure yeah. he's very active on Twitter. <laughs> anyway, super awesome, amazing. I love your founder. Love the company. Thank I've been following you. you for a long, long time. How can people contact you if they want to integrate? So just email me at taliafowtoon.com and That's we'll take it from there. T-A-L-I-A. Exactly. T-A-L-I-A and Powtoon, P-O-W-T-O-O-N. Like dot. cartoon with a pow. Love it. By the way, right? I actually, I never thought about that. That's super cool. <laughs> dot com. Send her an email if you think you can use yeah. animated videos in your company in any way, internally, externally, whatever. Super cool. Not just animated videos. Uh, so I don't know why I said that. If you need videos in your company, just contact me. That's we'll make it happen. A much easier pitch than I just said. <laughs> I am fired. Thank you, Talia. Okay, thank awesome. you. Good luck. All right, so I'm sitting here with probably the only person who's more comfortable on camera than me. No. How many, no years, have you, how many years have you been on camera? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. All right, so I don't even know where to start with you, dude. Like, there's just too much to talk about. So, who are you, first of all? I'm Aviv, Aviv. Frankel. So, Till recently, yeah. I'm, I don't get jealous easily. You know that. I don't get jealous easily. Not, not of most people. Okay. I am consumed with jealousy over this right. guy. Why is that? Let's talk about the cars you've driven. Give me a list. Okay. The last one was uh, Aston Martin. DB11? DB11 V8. You know that I hate you, right? The V8. I actually hate you right now. Okay. God, man. Okay. DB11. Jesus. And he's like... Okay, DB11, yeah. Okay, Ferrari F12 you really Berlinetta. Did. did you really? Yeah, of course. In, in Italy. Italy. Oh. In Italy. What Porsche, uh, even a Bugatti Veyron. You did not drive a You sent me a picture yeah. of that. You sent me a picture of that. Well, it's, it was so funny because it was brought to Israel for a car show and they only had insurance for me to take it for a spin in the driveway. Dude. So I was driving a Bugatti Veyron with, with 1,001 brake horsepower with children chasing me wanting to do a selfie. Yeah. Can you so the jealousy so, obvious on my face? So it's not the reason was I was uh, working for television. I was. Uh, I just want to tell you one thing. I know, yeah. I know I keep interrupting you, but we're, we're cool like that. 
I always say, like, one day when I make my exit, yeah, I'm not gonna change very much about my life. I love my life, I'll be honest with you. But I'm going to be buying myself a nice car collection, including every one of the cars you just mentioned. Not, Everyone, not a Porsche, not a Porsche. Okay. I have a thing with German, don't get me started yeah, on that. Yeah, I know. But we definitely, about it. even though Bentley is also German kind of today, don't, I don't even wanna talk about that stuff, but I love Bentleys. I, I re, just in LA, every other car's a Bentley. So, uh, Aston Martin is out of the question as well. Why? Because uh, Daimler bought 5% of Aston Martin. Yeah, but, that's, but they're not German cars, they're British yeah, but cars. The engine. Like, shut up, why are you gonna ruin it for me, man? <laughs> okay, well, I, my, I love for Aston Martin it exceeds or I should say transcends my yeah. hate of so you are a James Bond right I, 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 I double Martin, O Hillel you know I want to tell you something we had lunch a couple of years ago and I and I posted uh, you know our selfie and I said this is the only man I know in the world mm -hmm. that ever drove a DB9 Within a matter of minutes, I get a message from my friend Daniel Greif in Toronto mm -hmm. saying, that's the car that I drive. And I said, you drive a DB9? He said, I don't know if I ever told you this story. He said, yes, next time you're in Toronto, it's yours. And I said, are you for real? He said, yes, <laughs> guess what? I'm coming to Toronto next week because I really was coming to Toronto next week. Okay. And I got to you Toronto. didn't make it up. Yeah, I got to Toronto. He gave me, did I, did I ever tell you? I drove around a DB9 for like a week. Yeah, you, you uh, sent me those so photos. I, I owe that to you, so first of all. I have to start with that. But okay. the bottom line is like, you've driven all my dream cars and that is making me extremely jealous. So it's a problem because I really like you and I also really hate you. So I'm conflicted. Anyway. <laughs> so this guy was uh, a car reviewer on Channel 10, but not only car, car and tech. Car and tech. Car and tech, car and tech which is like car and it's tech, you. really. I mean, anyway, yeah. So he was a car, how many years were you at Channel 10? 12. 12 years at Channel 10, that's a lot yeah, of years. You right? asked me. That's amazing. Okay. Because I had the dream job. Right, that's true. Okay, so you reviewed cars and tech for Channel 10, awesome. Mm -hmm. You left how long ago? A few months ago. All right, and you, you know, you kind of had the entrepreneurial itch. If, I, if I'm kind of simplifying it. Yeah, I had the TV bug right. and then... Got it. Okay, so you did, you, you were like, a, I mean, you're, you're, you're recognized on the street. People actually, mm -hmm. like, he's, one of, he's, he's like sort of a celebrity in Israel. Um, and we can't talk about what you're doing yet because it's stealth and super early. We're not mm -hmm. talking about that. Yeah. But I'm, if, if this is going over the line, I will edit this out. But I mm -hmm. think we can say, and I'm being careful here, that in the autonomous economy, of yeah. the future, and when I say mm -hmm. the future, I don't mean 20 years from now, I mean two years from now. Yeah, autonomous cars, right? Okay, well, I didn't want to go that far. Okay. I was trying to be a little even more little cryptic, but okay, since cars. we said, okay, so autonomous cars, meaning we are not going to be driving our cars anymore, we're going to be driven. True. There's going to be a new currency out there, a new asset that we do not have today, which is literally spare time, because True. we're not going to be driving anymore, we're going to be sitting in our car. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll be on our phones. I feel like there has to be something to occupy our time that is going to be generated by all this autonomy. Stay no more. Stay tuned. Yeah. Huh? How's that? Cool. Excellent. Amazing. Dude, amazing. I love hanging out with you. It's awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it sounds, I mean, what you're doing, honestly, again, I can't talk about what you're doing, but I, I actually do think it's brilliant. And I think there's anyone that can execute it, it's you. And I haven't met your co-founder, but from what I can tell from his background, him and you, killer team. And you're going to be visiting Silicon Valley and New York yeah. next week. This will be published before you're there. So if you're in okay. Silicon Valley or New York, you're an investor or somebody that you think can help scale a, I would say, a solution that is building something for the future, mm -hmm. reach out. How do people contact you? Aviv at enroute.tech. Okay, so that's A-V-I-V -V, Aviv yeah. at E-N-R-O-U-T-E yeah. dot tech. Dot tech. Love it. Yeah. It's a great name, by the way. I like the name. Awesome. I love it. And by the way, your pitch deck kicked butt. Seriously. Awesome, man. Good luck. Cool. Remember me when you were like rich and famous. Of course. Awesome. Pretty great meetings all morning. Now heading to I-24 News to talk geek. Weather today in Tel Aviv, pretty perfect. Made it to Jaffa, Israel, one of the more fascinating cities in this country. I-24 News going live in approximately 20 minutes. Makeup. And I'd like to review the stories that I'm talking about. I'm talking about Elon Musk and Kim Kardashian's new app screenshot, visual search in general. And the third story is the attempt to hack face ID on the iPhone 10 using a 3D printed mask and how ridiculous that is. Those are the three stories, so pretty geeky today. Entering I-24 now. like six or seven minute segment is like three to four minutes. Three stories in like three minutes. It's gonna be tight. So Tesla's uh, gonna be launching, releasing a semi-truck. You know, they have the Model S, which is the sedan, the car, mm -hmm. the Model X, which is the SUV, and then they announced the Model 3, which is the affordable one. Now they're announcing a truck. I mean, I can't think of anything less sexy than a truck. But if Tesla can make it sexy, then, you know, you know, Apple releases an iPhone every year, and every year these hackers come along and say, look, it could be bent. Look, if you hold it this way, it doesn't, the reception's not good. Look, if I put on a mask, I can hack. 
You know, like, guys, move the on. The phone is like, smart enough to not too... fall for masks. Well, that's the thing. There was this one Russian guy who uh, has been known to hack basically every single consumer company and saying none of them are secure. So he created some 3D mask using some ridiculous technology that no normal human being would ever do. And he said, look, it could be hacked. So Kim Kardashian uh, launched a new app along with uh, some Israeli and New York-based entrepreneurs called Screenshop, which is, lets you take a, a screenshot of any outfit, basically, and instantly buy something similar to that shirt, to that skirt, to that whatever. That's interesting. It's a super cool app. And, you know, obviously, Kim Kardashian tweets and put Instagrams and it goes psycho. Mm -hmm. So they have millions and millions of downloads and, like, instantly, basically. What's really interesting, though, is the technology and the, and the, the concept of visual search, right? Search is text. You put into Google text, right? But the next wave is the ability to search just right? from a picture. Visual. So you could take a picture of clothing, of furniture, of different things, and instantly search where to buy that thing. We heard it here first. This guy is on the cutting edge of everything technology. Thank right. you guys both. Say goodbye. Bye, hello. See you next week. See you, See you next week. Who are you? Hey, I'm Benita Levine. How do we know from each South other? Africa. We spoke way, when I first got you. Even if you didn't really tell cool me. He's a really cool guy. He's a really cool guy. Your, your check is in the mail. Even if you didn't tell me where you're from. Not in Rand. <laughs> Don't I would have figured out where you're from because the accent's a little bit gives it what away. Accent? It gives it a little bit. Oh, but um, wait, so you you made Aliyah, you moved to Israel a couple of months ago. Right. You reached out to me. Right. We talked. Did. Yeah, we had a chat. Yeah. And what happened next? Started he working? He said, well, I've done all pun and now I'm working in TV here at I24 News, but we had a chat about TV, about radio. He said, no totally, radio. Totally you said, no this, radio. You yeah. said, radio. TV. You said, podcast. All right, there you go. But watching your progress and you're doing great. And now you got, you got yourself a dream job here. Yeah. It's awesome. This is an amazing place to work. Very an amazing cool. country to be in. Awesome. Well, Lovely to meet you. Let's have coffee. Let's do it. Awesome. Great to meet you. Thanks Thank for coming you. over. So just leading I-24, the, the segment went okay, I think. It was okay. Yeah. 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 So fun. this guy was before me. Usually I'm alone. I, was, I, had, I had the great fortune of being on with him. Who are you? Uh, my name is Guido Rogers. I'm from Mind Deep Band. You've been on TV before, right? Uh, once. Because you were really good. Really? You were very chill. No, no. Usually people are like nervous. You were like chill. Hey, what do you do? Real I was quick. nervous inside. Oh, you were great. What, what do you do? Uh, we invented a medical bracelet. Mm -hmm. uh, the Tell me that. Nice. You can scan it using uh, any smartphone, mm -hmm. uh, gain access to all the medical information you need to treat the person. Love it. Uh, in a local language. Kind of like a no-brainer, kind of like, hello, obviously we need that, right? It's a very simple idea. Mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, nobody really has perfected this technology up until now. Right, I didn't mean the no-brainer to execute it, I mean no-brainer to have such a thing, like every human being should have oh, yeah, a bracelet. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, I mean, you can put this on your grandmother's arm, and she can chat with it, swim with it, and it doesn't have to do anything. Zero super, maintenance. Super cool, but something that you told me uh, is even cooler, and that is that you did a crowdfunding campaign which was successful, and then what did you do with part of your money? Well, actually, the entire crowdfunding campaign was aimed at donating bracelets to Holocaust survivors. Wow. Thanks to the generosity of uh, hundreds of people, we were able to donate uh, 2,000 bracelets to Holocaust survivors all over the country. Unbelievable. And uh, one of the amazing things we discovered is that it improved not only their health, but their quality of life because it gave them the confidence to leave their homes and live a more active life knowing that if God forbid something happened, uh, it's they unbelievable. That's remarkable, dude. Keep up the good work. I told you, let me know if I can help, but I mean it. And now it's on camera, so even if I didn't mean it, now I mean it. <laughs> it's good to meet you, man. Thank you very much. I this is Israeli it. innovation right here. Have a good one. See you tomorrow.